There are two more crucial factors in running technique, contact time and the point your foot contacts the ground. First, let's talk about contact time. The longer your foot is in contact with the ground, the more forward momentum you lose. That's because when your foot comes into contact with the ground, it is stationary. You only move forward when both feet are off the ground. So what lengthens your contact time? First, if you make contact with your heel, your contact time becomes longer because you have to go through the heel, the midfoot, and finally your toes. This ends up causing the runner to lose a lot of momentum. The second is when you start your stride. When you put your foot forward, you have to wait for your hips to move to the front of your foot in order for your foot to leave the ground. This also prolongs your contact time. We have a runner reach top speed in 50 meters and ask him to come to a complete stop within 5 meters of passing the 50 meter line. What we find when the runner is stopping is that he moves his foot forward in front of his hips, landing on his heel. The point of contact is to the front of our center of gravity, which is the hips. This is the point of contact, and when we make the stride, we stop. What this proves is that when we're running, our foot should not extend beyond the front of our hips. This will only slow us down. We mentioned that landing on our heels lengthens contact time. So now, let's see how this works for this group of runners. With the same pace, I ask them to first run landing on their heels and then land on the balls of their feet. Now let's compare the two. 